Hi, and welcome to this course on Jamstack.training, where we're going to talk about Strapi and Next.js. My name is Tamash, and I'm going to be your instructor for this course. Let's take a look at what we're going to be learning as part of this course. We're going to be using Strapi, an open source headless CMS, to manage our data. And as part of that discussion, where we're going to set up Strapi and configure it, we will especially focus on establishing data relations as well as doing authentication. Now, the way this course is going to be recorded is that, as I said, we're going to first set up Strapi. We're going to configure it. We're going to sort of explore the various settings it has. We're going to learn how to expose data through its API system. And we're going to take a look at how to do that publicly so that anyone can access that. We'll also take a look at how to only allow people who have provided an authentication token to access some of the data. And then we also take a look at how data relations work in Strapi. And once we've figured out those details and we have a rather solid understanding of how Strapi works, we're then going to jump in and talk about Next.js, which is a popular front-end framework created by Vercel. And we're not necessarily going to cover all the basics of Next.js because in a previous course here on Training, I've already covered that for you. But we're going to focus on consuming the data from Strapi and then allowing people to register to Strapi to show and hide data based on whether someone is logged in or not. And once we're done, we're then going to deploy our Strapi instance to Heroku, and we'll also deploy our next JS instance to Vercel. So all that being said, before we get started, as always, let me give you a quick demo of the application that we're going to be building together. I have the application running here locally on my machine, and as you can see, it's going to be a film reviews project, and on the top, we have the navigation bar, so I have home films, I have a login box, and I have a form so that people can register. If I click films, you see that I have a paginated list of the films coming from Strapi, of course. So I can go to the second page, or I can click into any of these to take a look at the plot of the film. Now, I am going to log in using an already registered user. And what I want you to notice is, first of all, the top level navigation changes. But more importantly, if I scroll down the film, now I can add reviews to the film. And I can just say, great, or something similar, add review. And that review now appears at the very bottom. I can also go to the profile, and I have a profile picture, which is also going to come from Strapi with a little help of Cloudinary so that we get some nice transformations enabled for the image itself. And of course, if I log out, I no longer have these options. And just to show you again, I am now no longer able to add a review or see the reviews. So this is what we're going to be building together. And as I said, the first thing that we're going to do is start with an introduction to Strapi, how to set it up and how to configure it.